Hey guys, here are my UFC 102 predictions. The fights are August 29th in Portland, Oregon. And as always, you can comment on this video and basically go to mmagirls.net, comment on the video. The person with the most correct in their predictions gets their pick of a fighter t-shirt from brawlandmall.com. So I don't know what you guys are doing right now. You should be commenting on this video and entering in your picks. And even little Pepe, my roommate's dog, says so. He's like, pick. Eek! Do it. Do it now. First question. First fight is Randy Couture versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. Noguera is coming off a loss to Frank Mir and Randy is coming off a loss to the big and scary Brock Lesnar. Um, I mean this fight is... both you guys are legends and I, it's kind of unfortunate they're meeting this late in their career. But a bit late than never, I'm going to enjoy this fight. You know, Noguera looked a little slow against Frank Mir in the stand-up, and I think he's going to take some punishment from Randy, and I think Randy's going to keep his fight standing, he's going to use his wrestling to keep his fight standing. And, uh, I don't know, might be a knockout in this fight, I'm, I'm predicting it. Even though Noguera hasn't been finished since the Frank, I mean, Frank Mir finished him, but before that he's never been finished in fights, I'm going to have to go with Randy by TKO because just because Noguera looked a little slow against Frank Mir and I think that Randy has the crisper strikes and he's going to get him in the clinch. So I'm picking Randy by TKO. Next prediction is Keith Jardine versus Tiago Silva. Both these guys are amazing in the stand-up. You know, Tiago's heavy hitter. He got knocked out by Machida, but I mean, he's a tough, tough guy. It's going to be a tough fight for Jardine. Jardine lost a very close decision to Rampage, and you know what, I think Red Jackson is going to come up with a good game plan for him. Tiago likes to throw down, he likes to stay in the pockets, and you know, he has a good chin, and I see him wanting to do that, but like I said, I think Jardine is going to have a good plan from Greg Jackson, and I think he's going to use his lateral movements, and basically, you know, pick apart at Tiago and outpoint him, very kind of similar to what he did with Chuck Liddell, kind of staying away from the power hand. Um, it's going to be a tough fight, and I think this could end in a TKO, but I'm going to pick Jardine by decision. Next prediction is Chris Lieben versus Jake Rochelle. My boy Jake Rochelle, he's coming off a loss to Dan Miller. He got caught in a very tight guillotine back in February for your, I think it was Ultimate Fight Night 17? Yes, it was. And um, you know what, Lieben, he's been suspended for nine months because of steroids. He was ripped against... Michael Bisping and um, got tested positive for steroids, so he's been out of the game for nine months. Jake has good submission defense. He's good on the ground. He's gonna bring a relentless pace. He's a you know very good wrestler. Um, I'm gonna go with Jake by decision on this. I think just out of respect from Chris Lieben. Chris Lieben has you know very good chin. Um, he's gonna have to bring his cardio because I know Jake has cardio for days. So I'm going with Jake by decision out of respect for Chris because Chris is really tough and um, I don't see him getting knocked out, but I see Jake winning the decision. Next prediction is Damian Meyer versus Nate Marquardt. I'm actually really excited for this fight because both these fighters are my two favorite fighters in the middleweight division right now. Damian is the obvious pick by submission. He submits everyone. This is a submission machine. He's really good at jiu-jitsu, but you know what? So is Nate. Nate's competed in Abu Dhabi. He's a world-class jiu-jitsu guy. Obviously not on Maya's level, but still really, really good. So I think he's going to avoid getting submitted in this fight. I don't see him getting submitted. And I think that Nate has the better hands. So I'm going to pick Nate. Even though Damien, like, you know, he, he's not afraid to take a punch against Sonan. He, like, charged at him. Uh, I'm going to go with Nate by decision on this one. Last prediction is Brandon Bear versus Christoph Shoshinsky. I've picked Brandon in the past, and I hate to say this, but a lot of times he hasn't come through. He has so much potential, you know, he's good on the ground, he's good in stand-up, he has straight punches, and I want to pick him in this, you know, I really do. Christoph, on the other hand, you know, I've actually bet against him, against Stan, and he submitted Stan. So, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know, Christoph's been fighting a lot this year, he's really tough, good on the ground. I'm going to go on a lemon say Christoph by decision, just because... Brandon, tell me lies, tell me so many lies, you tell me the truth, so I'm going to have to go with Christoph on this, by decision.